Hi everybody, uh, name's Gatling. We're playing a, a bunch of cool uh, Next Fest demos that I found. This is uh, American Heuristics. We're starting with this one anyways. Uh, we're basically, you're, it's like playing the game. Uh, it's like playing Scream. Uh, if y'all are familiar with the movie Scream, if you're not, I'm confused if you're not, but you know, for those who might not, I don't know. Anyways, so it's basically a big old case of who done it, and it's all in 2.5D, so it's like 2D and 3D. Looked really cool. Anyways, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. What, Nico? What? You're the odd one out? Yes, you are. All right. Six hours later. Any luck on the key, Andrew? Nope, and not a sign of Misha either. All right. Oh, we have arms. We have, we have hands. We have our phone, all right. Okay. We just, no way, bro. Wait, bro. Yeah. Ghostface killer is out to get us. Dealing cards? No way, bro. We go out here? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, God. We gotta go find some stairs so he can trip. Come on, trip on the stairs, trip on the stairs, trip on the stairs. He's not gonna trip on the stairs. Oh, he's not tripping on the stairs. I gotta go. <laughs> Can't go that way. Oh. oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, I hear dead mans. Oh, we're, we're not finding a way yet. Oh, fuck. Oh. You're not catching me today, sir. No. -uh. Get me out of here. Ah! <laughs> I'm trapped. I go this way. I go this way. Okay, can't go that way. Can't go that way. Can't go this way. We're <laughs> just loop the killer. I'm just uh. Oh. Oh, that's a... I, I didn't know we could stand in, uh... Stand in holes. <laughs> I don't know where... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's not gonna come through here, is he? Hey, buddy. What's up? You look gray. He's gonna stare at me like that. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No, sir. No. Not today. The ready stands. Yo, he was ready to swing. He was ready. He'll never know. He'll never know. I need to find something. Uh oh shit. We coming. Oh! Oh la 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 la. We got some pallet stun him. Oh he kicked the pallet! To run! Oh yeah yo. Alright, I gotta go find a key, I think. Be blinded, bitch! Get blinded! Gotta go find another pallet. Bad killer! Bad. Oh, oh. Okay. Flashlight. Oh my god, I'm stuck. I don't know what I need. I think I need something behind that together. He's gone. Okay, he's gone. Oh! I can't move. I can't move. No! Where am I? Wait, I just completely changed locations. What just happened? No! I need to find out where the hell this key is. Yo, dude is actually just teleporting. I was just like, I might as well update my business cards because it's been like four years. Okay, we got the kitchen key. Eat that, nerd. Let's go. Hope it's in Austin Times. Same. I, I'm hoping it's good. I haven't been to a con in so long. It's going to feel weird. It's going to be all like, damn. I did it. I reached the- I reached the kitchen! Oh god, who spilled all this- Oh! There's strawberry milk leaking from her head! I've been excited to see more. Um, yeah, this is a demo. So all of the games we're playing today are demos. They are not- Yeah, all the games we're playing today are just demos, guys. Alright, what's the killer's point of view? Void hungers for more fear. Prevent the three survivors from finding the exit key and escaping. Oh shit. This literally just feels like DVD. <laughs> oh shit, we got a knife flip and everything, dude. definitely a fan of the uh, dvd for sure that so was american aristics i think it looks pretty sweet it'd be kind of cool if they had like a little mini like silly multiplayer thing that was kind of like a dvd style but yeah either way this is pretty cool i like it i'm excited to see what more they have from it the, the art style is nice an interesting little take uh all right. the lacerator
Oh boy. <laughs> Introducing Max, the man who loves sex. <laughs> It was just another sexy job I love with this another narrator. sexy woman. But everything went wrong. He is so cheeked up. The definition on that ass. Alright. This is locked. Oh my god, the running animation. I love it. Oh, we got, we got a thing here. Will you take the bandage? Yes. All right. How do I use bandages? My whole life I was a lazy husband. I always asked my wife to put the bandages on me. Now I don't know how to use them. I remember she once said something like, open your inventory, then select the bandage, finally click on use. This applies to any item. <laughs> my wife said that, damn. But I thought she was crazy. Is that how it really works? Someone, a lazy husband. <laughs> uh, I love that. That's funny. Oh. oh, we can open it. What's in here? Uh, nothing in here, I don't think. What are we? Oh, shit. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> Max, the man who loves sex. We love Max. Great guy. It's locked. Okay. We got anything in here? Nope. Nothing over there. Oh, we can open that. What else we got? Oh, this guy has something. There's a sharp metal hooked in his eye. Will you take it? Yes. Improvised lockpick. You can unlock a door with this, but it might break. Oh shit. We got a note. The hole. Day one. Holy shit, this place has no exits. I can't believe I'm gonna die here. Day two. All right, I found an, a way out. There's a hole behind cell E. If I could only open that door, I would escape from this hell. My whole body is shaking. The lacerator almost got me. If anyone is reading this, beware of cell A. The lacerator comes from there. Or maybe, fuck, maybe I switched the cells. Someone with courage. I love these notes. Hold on, there's like a, there's like a vent here. I need something to open it. Okay, so we can... I can't use it here, damn. <laughs> damn it! Alright, so I'm gonna assume that's the lacerator. Where's cell A? Or maybe it isn't. Maybe we're being debated. I don't know. I don't know this one. It's a sexy lady. I worked with Stacy many times. She doesn't seem okay right now, but damn, she's hot. <laughs> Stacy, no! I love you, Stacy. All right, what we got over here? Oh, we got a gun. We take the revolver. Yes. Oh! oh, damn. Okay. Oh, this beauty has the power to kill. I also lost my arm. Can I have my arm back? Damn. It's locked for the other side. Oh my god, we're gonna die, dude. Stacy! I lost my arm! Stacy! I lost my arm!
All right, we need a another lockpick, I think. We're not doing so good. Kill Stacy. I'm not gonna kill Stacy. All right, there's gotta be a different way to go. We can't run anymore, so that's tragic. Is he smoking? He is indeed smoking. He's n he never stops smoking. He just smokes and smokes and smokes. I wonder, do I lose? I don't know if I lose health over time because I'm like, yeah, I, I do not have an arm anymore. That doesn't work. Oh. Okay. Uh, the door is locked with rusted chains. They look fragile. Yeah, never mind. I don't want to go that way. <laughs> I don't want to go that way. Uh, enter the code. Damn. Okay, so I think I have to... Run! Fucking run, dude! Oh wait, there was something on top of that shelf. Oh, damn, they follow, they follow, they follow, they follow. They follow, oh my god, they're, they're coming at me. Oh! They're stuck. We gotta go, 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 Oh, dude, this is fucked up. <laughs> I can't go through that. Wait, can I not go through that there? There's something behind the store. I can't open it. Damn. Oh, geez. Okay. We're good. We got this. Easy peasy. I will take badges. There's also a... Uh... A beer bottle? Can I take that? Oh, damn. Oh! Ah! Well, I'm not looking so hot. I'm sure it's fine. All right, will you take the switch? I can activate a device with this, okay. How is he alive? Nobody knows. We're somehow still alive though. The flashing of the static is a little much, I'd say. I'd probably tone that down a bit, but otherwise this game has been really good. <laughs> The big box! Last time someone managed to discover the complex code of that big box. Managed to discover the complex code of that big box, but now I switched it and no one will ever know the code. It's so obvious it hurts. I switched it to one 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 one. Well, I don't remember how many ones, but it's just one till the end. Alright, so it's just one one one. I can reload uh, the, the uh, revolver. The problem is that I don't know how to properly reload it, so I'll switch the entire cylinder. Do I even have... Okay. Seems like we're stuck with using all the bullets until it's done. Um, yeah, this game is called The Lacerator, by the way. Uh, basically, we're a 80s porn star who got stuck 
in a trap. Stuck in like a dungeon trap dungeon area. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we have to escape the guy, but it seems like that was probably the demo if I had to guess. The last raid. Oh, you can defeat the last raider. Ooh. Interesting. Anyways, the man who loves sex, Max. We love him. Anyway, so yeah, that was uh that was the last raider. GG. That was a pretty cool demo. It was very funny. They have a good sense of humor. Um I liked it a lot. That was cool. Uh the the static effect. The static effect every so often was a little bit much, I found, but regardless i think it's there's definitely potential with this i think it's cool this vhs tape is community exclusive property in case you are not part of our crew of editors deliver the uh, deliver it to the tv station immediately all right i'm not returning shit you're not getting shit from me walter martins so yes this is a teleforum let's dive on in and see what happens Okay, that's the right building. Hey, got that camera on? Uh, let me remove the lens cover on now. Yeah, it's best to have as much material as possible. We can edit it all later. We want the sixth floor. Can you get the button? All right. Sure. What is it? You look like you have something to say. Don't know, uh, don't you think it's wrong to bother a widow? I was just thinking about what happened. Did you get authorization for this? Authorization? What are you talking about? They never approve uh, sensationalist stories like this. You need to hand them to uh, the complete material, get it? If it's already done, it's harder for them to refuse it. It was bizarre. You didn't see it, did you? They just told me how it happened, what he used to, you know. You're lucky, I wish I hadn't seen it. You heard it, right? He gave Celso uh, a VHS tape. The VT operator? Right. Celso was supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't. Technical issues. Then bam, it happened. Oh, we're here, come on. Alright. Okay, we're going to apartment 608. Easy, remember? Uh, to the light side, head towards the trash bags. Uh, just head toward the trash, I guess. I think that's the apartment just ahead. We're here. Alright, well, let's get ready, shall we? You can film her getting the door and all that. Uh, so I should knock on the door, ring the bell. What will look better on video? Uh... Ring, ring the doorbell? I wonder if she's up for talking to strangers right now. I hope the camera doesn't act up during the interview. If she isn't, she will now. Damn, that... You gonna bother a poor lady after she lost her husband? That's fucked up. Let me try again. Is she even home? Let's say, did you work with Walter for long? Uh, what if she won't see us? she even home? Ferrera called her right after it happened. I doubt she's left the house since yesterday. Damn, it happened yesterday? And we're bothering her? That's kind of fucked up. Alright, third time's a charm. Hello? What do you want? Hi, Miss Martins? We're from Channel 8. We came to give our condolences. Do you really need a video camera for that? We're making a special program about Walter. A homage, a kind of retrospective, you see. He worked at the station for so long. So we wanted to talk to you about him, about what happened. Right. Fine, come in. It might be good to talk about it. Quick thinking, huh? You gotta be quick on your feet if you want to last in, on this job. Come on, before she changes her mind. All right. Thank you again for welcoming us, Miss Martins. Hmm. So over here, we'll film our conversation, okay? Will he now? 
I'll have to think about that. What? Would you like a drink? Anything? Tea? Coffee? Oh, I never refuse a cup of coffee. I'll go make some. I feel like something's not gonna go right here. She pulled a fast one on you, huh? Forget that. Let's snoop around while we have the chance. Make sure to get every uh, anything that catches your eye on camera. We're surrounded by material here. Alright, so you can kind of like look around, I guess. I remember Walter showing up in this raincoat back in the studio. The image got stuck in my head because he just vanished inside the thing. I remember this story. The guy cheated... The guy cheated on him... Or wait, the guy cheated him out of some 500 cruzeros for an oversized coat. He looked ridiculous in it, but he paid so much for the damn coat, he just had to wear it. Poor guy. Oh, it would be a shame if we only had shots of the same wall. So look around the whole room, okay? I figured that out. Look at this photo. Some scenery? Not a very appealing scenery, plus it's out of focus. This photo has a story behind it, I could feel it. I might ask her about it during the interview. Alright, what else do we got here? Look, a daily trophy. Oh, right. Walter got one for an article he wrote back in the 70s. The station's owner thought it would make us stand out more, but it didn't happen. Local stations have zero chances against the big ones. I, I think they even had a lobby going on to hush this up. Look at this headline, a tragic passing of Walter Martins. So it's on the news already. I'm surprised she actually kept the paper. They moved fast to cover this one. Uh, she won't have peace for a while. I'm surprised she kept it. Me too. I guess people have different ways of mourning. I can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check on, uh, okay. So we got, we got to check more. Hey, that TV shot looks good. There's something funny about this TV. I think there was a lightning strike nearby the other day. Might have messed it up. Actually, I'm pretty sure it happened the same day that Walter, you know, Oh, VCR player. Fancy. How much uh, is one of these going for now? Some two million cruzeros? More than that, I think. Walter took a loan to pay for this. He told me one time he gave uh, he gave me a ride. It's gonna rain today. Hardly. The rooster says otherwise. Look. Ah, those roosters never get it right. Hmm. Guess we can use this shot to uh, use this to set the mood. Uh, look at these certificates, degrees from UFRGS, UFRJ. Walter was well educated. I think Miss Martins is just the same. What a waste. Coffee's almost done! Oh shit. Will you have one? Uh, no, I'm fine. Feel free to have one if you change your mind. So, did you think it over? I'm not drinking the coffee because I have a bad feeling about the coffee. I don't know. I, just, I don't have a good feeling about the drinks. I did. Let's get this done with. Great. We'll begin shortly. Let's shoot the interview on that chair, Silva. Ready? No, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. We're here with Miss Andrea, uh, Adri Adriana, Adriana, Adriana Martins. Wife of Walter Martins, our dear colleague who left us so abruptly. She agreed to give us an interview during these most trying of times. The TV, television seems strange. The award in the living room, certificates and diplomas, Walter's hat. Walter was a very high caliber professional to be working on such a small station as ours. Would you like to comment on that? He felt he had less problems with higher-ups when working at a smaller station. He could suggest topics, be more hands-on. He also believed in keeping local stations alive. We lived well. He wasn't an ambitious man, not in that sense. He was a good man. Alright. Uh... You have a rather peculiar picture in your living room. Ah, that was the first picture I took with the two of us. I put the camera on a tripod and set it up to take our picture. Then, well, this lapwing showed up out of nowhere. I think we were too close to its nest. The bird got furious and attacked the camera right when 
it took the picture, then it attacked us. That was the result, a portrait neither of us appear in from yours truly, the great photographer. He found it so funny and had to frame it. I used to find it funny too. All right, uh... You two are quite well educated, aren't you? You can say so. I studied quite a bit history theater. Theater? I met Walter in an eloquence workshop. I used to help him out. Can you believe we ha uh, he had a speech impediment? Bad, dicta uh, bad diction. Nobody notices it today. His articulated speech, that was my gift. Uh... The event has been garnering some media attention. Did this have an impact on you? I haven't slept in a while. In the morning, when I got the newspaper, there it was. The headline starring, uh, staring at me, pursuing me. And when I locked myself in here, you two arrived. So, yes, I'd say it's having quite an impact on me. Look, I'm sorry, I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Miss Martins, we have enough material already. He was so different, so nervous. I never expected him to... No one expected that, Miss Martins. I still can't even imagine Walter handling a gun. Gun? What gun? Walter never had a gun. The... The gun? The one he used during the show's broadcast? He did not use a gun. I know it was horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. That's what Ferreira told you. Back at the station, right? Okay, sorry, there's like a weird dialogue error there. Uh no, I was told he took poison? She definitely poisoned him, right? What? How can that be? My god, I knew it. Ever since he got that damn tape, the tape he tried to broadcast? So also examined the tape back at the station. I think the film was burned, something like that. That wasn't the tape, not the original one. That was a copy. Seriously? Do you still have the original one? Yes, here. I don't know what he saw in this thing, and I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never watch it. He only watched it when I wasn't home, or in the small hours of the morning. You want to, uh, you want to watch it, don't you? For the, your show? I don't think it's a good idea, but I'm too tired to try and change your mind. I I'm going to, I'm going outside to have a smoke. I, I don't even want to hear this thing. Cursed videotape? This is it. We have quite the story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll stay, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go see what the hell's going on here. Are you crazy? I'm out. Yeah, I wanna see what's going on with that tape. I knew I made the right decision in bringing you with me. Okay, this is how we'll do it. You film me as I watch the thing. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's content into the video during editing. Right, let's make some room here. All right, let's begin. Let's get my first impressions on the film. Uh, we can fix it all in editing later. There, I'll press play. It's starting. What is this place? I don't recognize this building. These symbols. I, I can almost, do they mean anything to you? Uh, looking at them makes my head hurt. Me, it's the eyes. Oh, it changed. Good. So he did go inside the building. What is this place? Uh, what does it even look like? Looks like... It kind of just looks like a long hallway. Kind of like a museum? I'm going to say museum. Yeah, but look at the exhibition. Who would authorize this type of thing? He's just walking by everything. What sort of building is this? It's way too long. Look, there's someone up ahead. That guy, he looks... He looks... get that? I'll turn up the volume. Char, take my hand. We'll take a walk. Get to zero inside the Lost Ark. I'll buy you the sky. 
Shard? Who's Shard? I can understand a damn- I can't understand a damn thing. Let me turn up the volume one more time. Hey, you okay? That's it. I'm turning this thing off. I had it. I'm out of here. Are you okay? You good, Juliana? I think that's the demo. All right, so that was, yeah, that was Teleforum. Definitely has my attention. I like the use of like the camera and it's like, you can't just like free roam. So it's like static and you kind of like move around the room a little bit. But I like it, it looks cool. All right, we're gonna start the demo. God boy, God yeah. So let's see. Oh, already starting in a bent reality looking ass thing. Are we in a dream? Feels like we're in a dream or something. So far, every demo we played has been really good. There's like a few like things I would probably say they should tweak, but other than that, most of them have been really good. Flashback. Yeah, graphically it looks really nice. Not too sure what to expect from it though. Imagine this is all the demo is. Them. Uh, we'll probably do another stream of them, yeah. A lot of loading screens so far. It's not a big, they're like pretty quick, so it's not a big deal. Oh, wow, what a strange dream. My head hurts. I need to get this headache under control. I wish we could find the time and money to travel. Uh, vacationing in Tampa. It's really sunny. It's pretty good here. We'll stay a little longer. Hope you're doing well. P.S. Say hello to Walter for me. Oh, yeah. So it looks like we can get some hints, but I don't want hints. I don't want hints. We got a little, uh... I need to put the figurine in first. Okay. I think this was part of the old music box. Yeah, a little... There you go. Pretty. I love music boxes. I don't know what it is about them, but they're just so, like, calming. Oh, there's the key. Why was it in here? All right. So we got a key oh, now. Martha and Dory shows. We don't have time for weddings. Mr. and Mrs. Bruce Lowington request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Jennifer Leslie to Oliver Greaves, son of Mr. and Mrs. James Greaves, on the 20th of March, 1981 at 5... Oh, sorry, 5.30... Oh, God, why is it all in text? Uh, 5.30 in the afternoon. Okay. We used to read together. I wish we uh, still had the time. What are my thoughts? Good story arc. Enjoyed the relationship, hardship, and how they over, uh, overcame them. I felt immersed and invested in the final showdown. Walter would have liked that book. All right. Martha already took care of all the circus stuff, which leaves me with you the rest, beer? as nah. always. No for parent teacher conference. Dory uh, groceries, make dinner, help Dory with her homework, practice with Dory for next show. Read new book for book club. Buy new paint and brushes. Take the garbage out. Call Dory's home room teacher, Miss Hernandez. Give Dory letter of absence for her school trip. Do the dishes. Call Verite for show next week. That is a lengthy to-do oh, list. Doesn't seem to work. I should look for Martha and Dory. <laughs> that 
An earthquake? This one also doesn't work. Someone left the record player on. Dude, this place is huge! Dory and Martha. Where are they? Martha can never get enough of this track. It's a nice track. Don't blame her. I wonder if for once family night will actually happen. Holy, that is a schedule. Man, I wish my life was this organized. Martha really likes them. We have different tastes. Well, maybe Dory's in her room. They ain't nowhere. This is part of one of the old arcades. Oh, we can do collectibles. Pog? Now I just want to find all the collectibles. What is this? Applied spelling phonics. Sun. Short. Legs. Long? Or feet? Long? Mirror, long. Flower, long. House, short. Water, long. Bed, short. Bear, short. Bird, short. Or is it foot? Is it feet or foot? Mr. Giraffe. She takes him everywhere. Ah, it's so cute. Now I want to find all the... Daniel's seventh birthday. Just a little guy. I'm trying to find all the... Well, now that I know there's collectibles, I want to collect all of them. I don't know exactly how what they look like or if we can collect all of them, but I want to try. Water. Hmm. Oh, can I open this closet? No. Dory. Holy room, dude. This room is decked out. What the hell? Costumes for their show. Dory, is that you? The circus saw quite a lot of America. Hmm. Well, I wish she would take it more seriously, though. F. She's Damn. such a bright kid. Hmm. Happy birthday, it's, pink guy. It's not my birthday, but thanks for the 500 I think this I coin was it. for the old machine. All right. Oh. Dory loves these, so I made one for her. Oh, dude, that's sick. We need to find a ball to play it. That's super sloth. What? She reads every issue. Hmm. Ariana Terra. That's her name? That has a really pretty voice. I think it's supposed to look creepy, but Dory and I love clowns. It's terrifying. I hate it. Sweet Lord, save me from this demon. I took it home from the circus. It's old, but I'm fond of it. Okay. How to play? Insert the coin and pull the handle uh, on the right. Where's the handle? 
Ah. Oh. That's amusing. Oh, who's gonna win? Oh, it's black. Maybe? I don't know. This should work. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. We try again, we try again. either i mean whoever likes doing homework hmm. can i open can i open this i can but it doesn't give me anything what's this oh god it's math oh mathematics i hate math math sucks hmm I'm assuming it. Oh, yeah, now I have a marble. Boom! Oh, first try. Uh, a bunch of plastic teeth. Oh, I thought it was like real teeth. I was like, uh. That's a little concerning. I need to open his mouth first. How do I open his mouth first? Oh, it's one of these, like... Oh! Oh! E? 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 That giraffe is a key. How clever. We were so close to getting to the last one. Dory's drawing book. It's locked. Why I just got the this? just got the key for it. Age seven. Uh-huh. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, were the parents fighting? Oh. This is deeply concerning. This is deeply concerning. What a beautiful artist, though. Concerning, but she does really good art. I was looking at that. I was... What the fuck? What is going on? <laughs> this has to be another dream. Wait, this can't be. This is right by the lake near the circus. Dory? Is that you? Dory? A little shit? Tori and I come out here all the time. Mommy, Daddy, I found a really, really big fly. <laughs> Sweetie, that's called a dragonfly. Oh, be careful. They can breathe fire. <laughs> Don't be silly, Walter. You'll scare her. Oh, uh, child's fine. She scares herself, apparently. Dory, what are you doing out here? Have you seen a little girl? Short, black hair. Wait for me! I'm not that fast. Yeah, I prefer not knowing my future. <laughs> Uncomfortable chuckles. 
Oh, that's Agatha's cart. She's good friends with Martha. Child, stop running away! Why you gotta keep There's running? There's the train we use to travel. Nowadays, the circus just stays here. The world famous mother and daughter Martha and Dory in a series of most difficult aerial feats. Also, the kid when the mom were like in the show or something, I it guess. It's like ages since I've been here, <laughs> but at the same time, like yesterday. Apparently, Dory was in the circus. I think we set up the circus. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we were like the people, like we were the person who set up the circus and I guess Martha, my, the wife and daughter were like part of the show. I hear things. House of Terror! Oh, we got another like collectible, I think. Circus. This always breaks down, no matter what I do. Hmm. What's over here? Can I go in here? Oh, I can't. My workbench. Oh, do we like make cabinets and stuff? Oh, that's kind of cool. Sometimes Dory tries to catch up on some homework, but usually not for long. Hmm. Huh. Why did somebody wrap this up? What even is it? Looks like another, like, marble-type game or something. Are these mine? I stopped smoking when we had Dory. Oh, it's collectible. Well, let's see if we can turn the power on. Damn it. Okay. Okay. One. More seven. God damn it. Got it. There you go. I am Sohan. I can see your future. Come see it too. I just need a token of appreciation. Appreciate you. Martha prepares here for the show. What else we got in here? This should be enough for a few rounds. Oh, we get to play games? Ah, let's get this on the first try. All right, first try, first try. Not quite. Huh? Okay, one more time. Okay. <laughs> that game takes so much focus out of me. I'm just like, oh god. Wait, where was that? Okay, I want to. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go see what my fortune was. I want to see what my fortune was. Zohan is grateful for your appreciation. The great Zohan sees you have lost something. Oh, I got a sweet potato fry. Let's go. It, you must search for it. A long drive over the hill will surely be of help. When you arrive, all doors will be open to you. Oh, wow, that's really helpful, Zohan. Well, let's see what the future has in store for me. Oh, nice, nice. I've never actually Your seen that. always the highlight.
A turnstile should move now. I like all the little mini games, though. They're pretty fun. Welcome to the Circus of Value. Oh, always drags me through here. I think she just really likes to scare me. Clown from the circus. What was his name? Nelson. Uh -huh. Enough playing around. Dude, this makes me want to do a haunted house now. I've been through stuff like these sort of things and oh my god it's so it's so disorienting. Woo. Eyeball lady in doctor Master of Escape Freaks, world's strangest people alive. They're alive? I was kind of hoping they'd be dead, honestly. Okay. Well, I guess I'll die. You know, that's, that's Dory. I'm serious. I guess that's, that's enough. Fine, I suppose. she go whoa whoa oh, that's so cool oh that's so neat i like that wait where did i go oh whoa whoa everything's changing definitely doing some like layers of fear effects going on here yo this is so cool please wait dory i'm gonna see this door's locked it's a fake door actually yeah it is a fake door Dory strain. I don't remember putting a motor in you. Fine, fine. I'll play along. Where are we going next? I don't trust this. <laughs> Lead us, oh wise train. Wait! Dory! Dory, please! I'm so tired. Like that shirt? This must Thank be a new you. addition to the funhouse. Comfy shirt. But why does it seem so familiar? Is that a stripper pool? Am I about to get like a bunch of strippers coming from the ceiling or something?
All right. Now the strippers come through the ceiling, right? Oh. We are the stripper. Oh, shit. No way. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, hey, guys. What's up? That was it. That was the demo. I really like the visuals though. And I like the use of like the little like mini games, like the circus games and everything. The cheeky little, you turn around and then you turn around again and something's different. I'm excited to see like what more they add to it though. Carefree. Of course, I'm sure I close the doors to the barn. I always do. Bella wasn't here this morning. I tell you, it was those sons of bitches. It's for weeks now that we've been hearing rumors about them rustling cattle. Fortunately, I'm a light sleeper. I heard a commotion and went to check on the cows. Did you come down right away? Yes, uh, I took the rifle and went out. But by the time I got to the barn, they were already gone. They must have noticed the lights go on in the house. These people need to be taught a lesson. They must be taught to think twice before breaking into other people's houses. They should consider themselves lucky not to have caught a bullet to the head. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't have to go that far, but I agree. They're absolute assholes. And they say didn't take them all. What else would I have to keep me busy if I didn't have my cows? Have you already reported the theft? What the fuck do I tell the cops? <laughs> they wouldn't find her anyway. What a shit time we're going through. You should wait for them with your rifle point. Rest assured that if they come back, they'll get what's coming to them. <laughs> fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Can anyone catch up to this unexpected front row? Everything okay? Alright. Cliff, go and see what's up with him. Sure. Alright. We are now free to... Free to roam. Staff only. Do not enter. I am the staff. Sorry, one second. I gotta take a piss. <clears throat> Anyways. Thank you for joining us today. We hope to see you again for another thrilling horse race. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways. Oh, sir, what's your problem? Are you okay? I am ruined. Excuse me? It's none of your business. Do your job and go get me that drink. Alright, he wants a drink. Coming right up. Nora, is the whiskey on the shelf finished? Um, no. There should still be some left. You can take it. Alright. There's your whiskey. Cliff, come take a look at this. I don't like that guy. You never like anyone. I thought you were used to our kind of clientele by now. Come on. Let it go. Instead, look at what I found. Oh, that magazine again. <laughs> Which villa have you fallen in love with this time? No, no. No villas. <laughs> You'll love these two. Trust me. The first one is very secluded and a bit out of town. But it has a big garden and the most beautiful fireplace. It... Probably just needs a little remodeling. 
Well, that sure looks like a villa. Oh, villa. <laughs> Come on. This other one, on the other hand, is definitely an apartment. It looks quite nice, and it's rather close to the center. Nora. Even cheaper. Owning a house the in this economy? Is that it faces the street, so it could get a bit noisy. Hmm. Let me think. In the country. Oh, that house does need a fair bit of renovating, but I like it. There is also a lot of empty land around it. You always wanted to have a small garden to plant your vegetables. It looks like the perfect place for a fresh start. So, you finally set your mind on leaving. I'm sad to be leaving everything we've built here, but hey. Yeah, you gotta take the. We gotta take it out on the on the country road. Take me home now. to a place yeah, I'm a where we belong. <clears throat> What do you want now? Where will I spend my afternoons? <laughs> Come on, Hank. You know me all too well. We need a change of scenery. And anyway, this is the Hello. Of the road. I'm not saying you should. Like we're just your totally dono walling him. I'm just saying. I'm gonna miss you guys. This place means a hell of a lot to the few people Can still you around hear me? here. Sorry to interrupt your Fucking lame ass shit family reunion. My throat is dry. Do any of you intend to carry out your job? Hey, you piece of shit. Can't you see I'm talking here? <laughs> Cliff, why do you always <clears throat> let people treat you like this? Shut you know, up, you got a point. Man. I'm gonna scold his ass. I'm coming, but you need to calm yourself down. I think he is. Mm. What do you want? <laughs> Another glass. Are you sure you haven't had enough to drink? Another glass. All right, all right. Damn. He really wants to get drunk, apparently. My goodness. Fine, you're getting another glass. Shut the fuck up. Shall I leave you the bottle? Is your ass feeling heavy today? Of course I don't <clears> want you to <throat> leave me the bottle. No. I'll call you back if I want Put a little hot sauce in it. All right. Whatever. Oh, that'd be awful. Some uh, laxatives and hot sauce. Mix that in with that whiskey. We'll never hear. We'll, we'll never hear from him ever again. Hi. Hey, Mandy. I didn't know you were back in town. Dollop of ketchup on top. Oh. Filming. I really needed it. That's that's a that's a stiff shot right there. On the big screen. What are they making you do this time? Another respectful scene as an extra? Hank, you're still the same as always. I actually secured a leading role this time. Don't be questioning my talent every time I set foot in here. <laughs> <coughs> oh, no, she's oh not. Mandy, don't feel too bad. Hey, Mandy, how you doing? He'd like you around here more often. I know, he's my number one fan, really. And the only one you have, too. You wish. Recently, I've been getting too much unwanted attention. Anyway, I couldn't leave town without stopping by to say hello. How oh, kind. If, can you make me a burger? I'm so Oh, we're making burgers now. She's coming right up. I like how we draw the burger. <laughs> like, we don't even write burger. We spend our time to draw it. Maybe what's a hamburger with just meat? All right, we need some bread. We need some. We need some patties. All right, do we have anything else we're gonna put on it? Just, just meat and a burger. I guess just meat and bread. Happy things are looking up for you. So they're letting anyone become an actor nowadays with that awful voice. Hey, easy. You're free to leave if we're bothering you. I ain't Cliff is an artist. Would you look at this asshole? Sorry, I was caught up by my own excitement. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. We have a... <clears throat> okay. Oof. Flip, flip, flip! 
Perfect. We are the burger connoisseur. Oh. Yep, that's that's it. Well, here here's your bread and meat. Here you go, movie star. I'm thirsty. Mm, thank you. She's not even putting any I'm ketchup, no surface. mustard, no mayo, nothing. Job. I bet you're the boss here. Yes, and if I were you, I would stop taking the piss. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Someone's a little touchy. If someone's a little drunk. Such an asshole. I don't understand how you can stand having people like that in here. Fortunately, assholes like him help keep the. She would have a drink? No. <laughs> She's just eating that. That must be so dry. That guy. Cliff, can you get me a cheeseburger and a beer? Oh, we gotta make a and cheeseburger. I'll try to stop by the sheriff's office to report those damn cattle wrestlers. Sure. Alrighty. Whoa. You're already here. Is it really necessary to continue? Uh. You are free to go. No one is forcing you to stay here. What in the murder investigation is going on here? Already speed running. <laughs> this is going to be our burger flipping PB. Yep. We just need the beer. Where's the beer? Where the beer at? Where the where the beer at? Where the beer at? Where the where the beer at? Where the where the beer at? This guy's just in here. Who are you? Why are you here? Damn. Yeah. The available details indicate that the murder. More. More of them are coming in. Uh, someone has died in our facility. I think our rating's about to go from an A to a D real quick. All right, folks. All Just a right. normal Tuesday. Keep the change. Care, oh, Mandy. how yes, we'll shouldn't have. Before we close shop here for good. Bye, Mandy. Got the money. Going on, guys. Hey, you guys. See you. Wait, when did someone die? Uh, Hi, just man. now. We... I don't know who died, but someone died. This place is filled with memories. They put the dead body in here. Yesterday. He used to come all the way here in that old The inspectors are placing dead bodies so and we can get a lower grade. You ordered. Uh, tease her. What does that do? Pizza. We've never served pizza here. Oh, right. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting confused Who's with the other snoring the drunk guy? At that time? Ah, the witch there was just as gorgeous. <laughs> Where's Let Mandy? She lived. You're not funny. Oh, sorry, my bad. Just my luck that your father decided to hire me. Yeah. Bro, perspective change. 
Whoa! It's been so long now. Uh. It's time for me to go. Stay with me. A little longer. This place. It needs you. cool i like the whole like kitchen management stuff characters seem very interesting the perspective switch was quite a quite a trip it was really interesting well that was fun i like that all right time to feel like we're suffocating in the vast depths of a cave labyrinth filled with traps monsters and there then some what is, this, what is this resident evil load up nasty smell of stench and dead bodies. Could this be a dream? I got drunk in a tavern the day before and passed out. Uh-huh. Or I got knocked out. I don't remember anything. My head is splitting. Okay. Just crawl, crawl, crawl. Crawling animation. What the, what the What? What? I thought I'd just die. <laughs> just don't stop crawling. Oh wait. I've always hated those insects. Just gigantic. What was going on in there? Oh, we can just go up? Oh, I ain't going down. I don't want to go down. I'm going up. I mean, up would be. What are these nasty creatures? Never mind. Is this real? Never mind. You know, I don't. You know, we'll go down. Actually, down seems like a better idea. Okay, we can just get up now. <laughs> we can't even turn around. We just forward, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. Apparently, this place is a labyrinth. 
belonging to an unknown jerk. You don't even know where you are. What do you mean? Is that a hand? <laughs> do the wave. Is this strange hand telling me to go back? Why? Oh shit! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! 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 back, back. Crawling backwards is so funny to me. All right, I guess we go up now. Is this the Lords of the Fallen game? No, it is not. It is fear underground. All right, we gotta go back down. So it, we opened up something. Right, time to go get a mushroom. Let's go get high, I guess. Only crawl. A glowing mushroom. I might find this useful. I'm tired of climbing through this labyrinth of madness. Okay. This way we go. Oh, that is coming up on our behind. Oh, we're dead. Oh my God. We're about to be crushed by the ceiling. Run, crawl, do something. Okay, we're good. We're fine now. Everything's fine. Bro, you just got here. I know, right? He's like already bitching. He's like, I'm tired of this. Bro, you do, bro, bro, you've been crawling for like five minutes. My night going has been good. We've been playing a lot of really interesting demos. But there's a passage with a very low ceiling. Can I try lowering it? Spiders, spiders, spiders. What could be more disgusting? It remains to understand who kidnapped me and why. What are their goals? Uh huh. <gasps> what in the hell was that? It went right through the wall. Oh, God. What a place this is. I can't handle this. <laughs> wait. Wait a minute. You can't panic. I'm not alone here. That means there's hope. Hello, stranger! That was the demo for that game. That seemed interesting. The, uh, the dialogue sure is, uh, AI. I think that that's definitely AI voice acting, or it's just the voice actor is very stiff, but it looks neat. Well, that was, uh, it could have been better. It's definitely in its demo stages, obviously. All right. Oh, we got like a little red line. New game. All right. Dying. Can I go down this road?
property! I'm off the property! I'm off the property! I'm off the property! I'm off the property! Not let up. He does not let up. Sir, please. Can you get me in the well? Is he good? He is booking it. chasing me for a second. <laughs> this guy just will not let up. No! I got stuck by a wall. Hey, we, we dug a lot of graves before we got caught. Looks like this gate is locked. Come with me, I have an idea. Is it the way that we were going before? Yeah, there has to be like a way to like lose him. Good enough for me. Lucky us, our first grave is here. Pick it up and see what we score. Did you bring a shovel? It was in the trunk. Yeah, I forgot about it. All right, we're gonna dig the first grave. Hopefully the security guard doesn't find us immediately. All right, I'm just gonna follow him. Maybe following my partner would have been the best idea. <laughs> ah. So that's how we get rid of him. Look for the headstone list in your notebook. John Farrell, Amanda Dredd, Sarah Demonic, Celeste Maddie, Larissa Croft. Laura Croft, is that you? Carl. Just Carl. Ellen. Jane. Eric. Clay. Matthew Osborne. Cassie Glenn. Nico Price. Celeste Maddie. All 
right? Amanda Dread was right next door. Easy. Able. Able burns. Yeah, she got me like over here or something. Able. There's Able. Whoa! Well, now he's dead. Sweet Joseph. Oh, we took his videotape and it's ours now. Sick. Time to watch it, I guess. Whoa. Damn. All right. Well, we tried. Uh, there is no way out. Valve slot. I don't have a valve. That's supposed to be numbers? Oh, that, yeah, you know, that probably would have helped if I just, you know, looked. Anyways. jump. I can't fall there, but we do have a key now. Look. That torch. Okay. Can we get over there? Huh. Oh wait, there was a code over here. Right? Aha! Uh -huh. What do we need the torch for? Okay, so what if I do... F A Y. Thank you very much for the nine months. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. There's a rope there. That explains a lot. Okay, what's that gonna do? Oh, it gives us a code. Okay, so it's A nine. up that door and hopefully we don't get what the hell is even that
All right, well, that's the demo. This seems like an interesting game, though. It's a little cheap on the jump scare there, but it seemed interesting. I'll probably end up playing the full game. Time to play the curse to the extrication. I don't know. This film depicts a murder that took place in Winhua University's Da Ren building in 1960. I I've got to get out of here. You are mine. Shu Yo Yi. Uh, the problem with putting my GPU in a different <sighs> slot is that it doesn't fit. <sighs> Anywhere else. Shu Yo Yi. Yeah, I might try that carefree. Even if I die, I'll never get away from you. How? How is this possible? I. He. No. No! This building traps the souls of all who die here. Shu Yo Yi. We will be together forever. The Hexed Building. September 14th, 7 o'clock. Screening room. Be there or beware. Hello? Mrs. Wong? Sue? Where the heck are you? I'm out in the field reporting. Oh. Wait, what? In the field? Lynn was just telling me that you're refusing to be put on the entertainment beat. Oh, uh, I, um... No, it's not like that, Mrs. Wong. Recently, I haven't been feeling well. Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. Uh, all right, all right. So where'd you run off to? I called you more than ten times and it kept saying you were out of range. I just got to Wenhua University. I'm guessing the connection isn't too good up here. Wenhua? Oh, those film students and their ghost sighting video. Bingo! It's Ghost Month. And with this being a creepy ghost story, I it figured ghost I could month, get chat. exclusive. Come on, Sue. There's no way the school will let you touch that with a ten-foot pole. We basically smeared them with that report on the Huang Ting Ting missing persons case. How about picking something else? No way, Mrs. Wong. That's exactly it. If I can get something, this story is gonna, like, totally go viral. Ah, <sighs> fine. It gets pretty spooky up there at night. Be careful, will ya? Yep. Thanks, Mrs. Wong. Inside the envelope is some hair in a hundred yuan note. The four pillars of destiny for a specific individual are written on the back. Folk superstition believes that if you want to find a suitable marriage partner for someone who has passed, you can place a red envelope on the ground and wait for their fated partner to pick it up. No, oh, thank you. Most board games. Uh, hey! They have a Waluigi board at board game shops. Who the hell's down here? Jiminy Christmas! Jiminy Christmas! Hey, buddy. <laughs> Causing trouble, eh? Go on, get out of here. <laughs> the Hasbro product, is it? One second.
Oh, it is a Hasbro product. <laughs> what the fuck? Hasbro is just out here selling Waluigi boards? Due to dim lighting and safety hazards that this incurs, loitering in or around the Daren building is strictly prohibited after midnight, at which time the doors will be locked. Please leave the building at any appro uh, at an appropriate time. Sure. Still got two hours. What, what was... We've got some donuts in here. Oh, one more thing. If anything happens, don't hesitate to call me. Huh? Now that you're covering entertainment, I'm responsible for you, Sue. All right already. Get to it. Did... did you get it? Hello? What? Who is this? The letter. It was so, so difficult to get to you. Wonderful. You're not coming home tonight? Yeah, I have a case I need to investigate. Tell mom for me. Didn't they put you on entertainment? What the heck do you need to investigate for that? Uh, you know, your mom was really worried about you when you were out chasing cases or what have it. You really should just quit. Apply for a government job. It's stable. It's a stable income and it's good work. Trust me. No. No, dad. We talked about this a million times. If you keep worrying like this, I'm gonna move out. I know, at least tell us, uh, at least let us know when you're finished tonight. Love you. Be blunt, I guess. Hold on. Did I see something? Oh, it's the elevator. Okay. Because it's fun for the whole family. Right. Rated six and up. Just selling... Ouija boards to six-year-olds. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> cow cow! I love cow cow. Is that a milkshake? Yo, I want that strawberry milkshake. Oh, there's a banana milkshake? A banana chocolate milkshake? You want a peach milkshake? Oh. Yummy. Seahorse coffee. Nothing here. Hey Z uh, Zinan, just check it in. The key for the to the registrar's office is in the military instructor's room, right? Yeah. So you were serious. Whoa, oh my god. Fucking wild. Appreciate the help for not asking too much. The post said urgent high pay part-time work. Looked like a scam for sure. I'm investigating a case. Couldn't really discuss the details. Thank Again, thanks for the help. As we agreed on, I'll arrange for a print interview with the film club. 
Okay, okay, thanks. So we're playing as like an investigator, I guess. But we're also gonna be able to play as like the four or the three other students, or three students or something. What's this? Guidebook. A pamphlet for new students that includes a 2D map of the Da Ren building. Take a look if uh, at if you get lost. Man, I was hoping for a 3D map. I'm disappointed. Why am I investigating the basement? Because there's spooky things. And I like spooky things. <laughs> this security guard is pretty bad at his job. Hey! hey. Uh, old fart like me, I never get any goddamn rest. Uh, well. Guess I better make myself busy. I'm glad me. Also, I like how we have our flashlight on, and yet he doesn't recognize that there's a flashlight from behind the, the freaking shelf. Watch out, enemies will not hear sounds that you make when you're moving. They'll notice the sounds of items you bump into or other noises in the surrounding. Angie? I have to go that way. No one better than my ball and chain. Oh, get some! <laughs> get some! <laughs> he is feeling himself. Just for a record, he was staring at a very flexed dude. One of Sergeant Chuan's favorite pairs of shoes, softer and more durable than standard stiff leather shoes. They're hits. They're his go-to choice when he's off duty. I see. Unlimited edition cassette tape, a legendary campus folk singer from Wen Hua strumming his guitar and singing, a classic image that really tugs on the hearts of the people. 
This one's a tape from Sergeant Huang's personal collection and is a tune that you'll often hear him humming as he goes about his business. A key that opens the main door of the registrar's office. It's usually kept in the military's, uh, military instructor's office. himself all right okay so where do we need to go oh yeah yeah we need to go this way however the door is locked so hmm the dogs are shooting them. Hmm. I'm gonna say it's a corgi or a German Shepherd. That's my guess. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What breeds are even popular in China? I don't know. Never quite looked into that. I know in Japan it's Shiba Inu. Get some. Kinesis? Hmm. Perhaps I, I don't I actually don't know for China anyways. All right. I'm just follow up on the Huang Ting Ting case. On the day that the student went missing, we cooperated with the police and sh showed them the surveillance footage from the main entrance. We confirmed that she had not left campus. Huang Tingting Ting did not live in the dorms and would usually take a bus or taxi to leave the mountain and return home. Oh, I didn't finish it. Based on accounts given by students who saw her last, she was last seen in the Daran building. Once again, it's the Daren building, just like the dance department incident that happened 10 years ago. The security guard discovered something strange in the elevator surveillance footage. After notifying the higher ups, they held a secret meeting and decided to only provide the police with the first half. Everybody agreed that giving the police the master tape would do nothing to help the case. Uh... Okay. Ghost in the Hex Building. Wenhua, one, two, four, five, six, seven. Looks like campus is, uh, looks like campus is added again. I'm a total, uh, I'm a freshman at Wen, Wenhua. Total noob, I know. Heard that Wenhua is built on the boundary between some yin and yang zones. So apparently it attracts evil, evil and spirits not just evil spirits evil and spirits and stuff the da ren building was supposed to be built in line with the eight trigger trigrams uh but they screwed it up and put them in reverse order totes messed up the feng shui and now dark spirits are everywhere the whole thing's haunted 
and there's been murmurs about the elevator for quite some time. Some say you can take it to B3, which doesn't even exist, but I ain't seen any of that. Nobody else that's been here a while ago got any ghost stories or anything. Dumbasses. The mad ballerina. Cat spirit riding the bus. General electives that are impossible to sign up for. 1960 Dalran murderer. Uh, so freaking scary. Empty music rooms. Go there at night and get ready to shit your pants. Senior just uh, that just graduated said he saw the headless consort. Okay. Oh. Uh, dear friends and students, there have been some. Uh, there's been, there have been bizarre rumors circulating online about the appearance of ghosts in the elevator of the Dal Run building. To prevent outsiders from disturbing campus life, please be wary and take extra precaution when encountering anything or anyone related to the matter. Okay. Military instructor notice. Friends and students loitering in prohibited on campus is prohibited on campus at night. And remember to do your part to save energy. Make sure to turn off the electrical devices before leaving. Thank you for your cooperation. I see. Yeah, I would imagine the translation is like a little rough, but it's it's not too bad. This. this is like a puzzle. Hmm. A transparent board with some geometric patterns on it looks like there's more than one of these. It also resembles those paintings on the wall. Could they be connected somehow? Hmm. Oh, I see. Something like that. Looks like we're missing one. game this is uh bridge curse 2 bridge curse 2 i'm assuming we're missing something so we're gonna have to come back i guess seems like it oh we can't leave so what we need is in here somewhere oh there it is Is that right? A piece of art made by putting together two transparent boards. It forms various shapes when you look, uh, look at it from different angles. It is trying to get, is it trying to get at something profound? So it's nine zero zero seven or no, wait, seven zero zero six. Nine zero zero seven. Seven seven zero six. Thought I did seven seven zero six. Oh, zero. It's colors. I get it now. Uh, red was seven, green was zero. There we go. I get it. Me understand. Me comprende. I haven't heard of the first one. Uh, I have heard of the first one. I kind of want to play it. Jeez. I heard it's pretty decent. Can't believe it's still here. 
Where the heck can I even play this thing? Ooh. <laughs> oh, come on now. I'm not that ugly, am I? I didn't mean to scare you there, freshman. You okay? Yeah, I'm oh. fine. Hmm. You don't look like much of a student. Bit old, I'd say. What with all that pretty makeup and whatnot. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Sue Leanne, I'm a reporter for United News. Well, what do you know? You're that sweetheart anchor from the TV, aren't you? I'll tell you <laughs> what, that screen don't do you justice. Yeah. <laughs> um, Damn! Anyway, I'm here to interview some students. Damn, dude! Oh, this lady. That's fucked up! Um, yeah. They must be busy or something. Let me see if I can get a hold of them. Hmm. Hi, I'm sorry, but the person you called is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Not picking up? <laughs> Wait, how can they just leave you hanging like that? Uh, sorry. Looks like he's busy hey, at the moment, but... Uh, hey, Sarge, can I interview <clears throat> you instead? No, no, it no. It can no. be about anything. Uh, the campus, so. the school's history... Hmm. My boss wants me to do a report on Wunhua. Or maybe you could, like, tell me a story or something? Oh, I gotcha. Can't go back empty-handed, huh? Uh, oh, oh, lucky you. I've got so many stories that I... Um, well, you came to the right guy. Did I? I know everything there is to know about Wenhua uh, University. <laughs> <laughs> hey. But I'd feel like a damn fool standing around blabbing my head off. <laughs> Let's go to the cafeteria. What do you say? I'll be more comf- What the hell was hmm. that? Sounded like something fell down and slammed into the floor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me go make sure everything's okay. I'm you, just it. wait Thanks here. So be back in a months. few. Yeah, he dead, right? He definitely dying. Wanna check it out? Or you have to go back to the elevator. Back to the elevator. Tape is so cursed. Yeah, we should, I don't know why we're touching the cur like the curse tape, but we're touching the curse tape, I guess. Again? You okay? Need some help? Sue, what the whooping hell are you doing here? Nah, it's nothing. I'll take care of it. So just trying to wipe it with his shoes. Ah, how's this? I was just about to buy a drink. You want one? Uh, sure. I'll buy Whatever a drink works. from who? All right. Come on now, take a seat. Oh, I guess the vending machine. That makes sense. Never mind. My brain was instant, like at the bar, buying Classic. drinks. <laughs> So, uh, where should we start? Or what do you want to know? If it has to do with Wenhua, I probably know about it. Ask away. Um, well, what do you know about the Huang Tingting -ting missing persons case? Huang Tingting? -ting? Hmm. Her. Oh, yeah. He wears the sunglasses at Shame. night. She was a good kid. Did you know her? That's that's all. Yeah, the, he doesn't wear sunglasses during that. the day, just at night. But didn't she end up dead? A body was never found. So, the police just left it as a missing persons case. Hmm. I see. 
But after all these years, I'm assuming that she... Yeah, yeah. I figured the same. Hey, how'd you get that video? It's all over the internet. You haven't seen it? Internet? I'm not too good with computers. And now they've got those tables, tablets... Ugh, I don't use that stuff. Hey, wait. Why'd you ask about that girl? Actually, I did a special report on the Huang Tingting case a while back. Seeing that elevator again made me think of her. You seem to know so much about the place. I figured I'd ask. Hmm. True, true. I've spent so much time up here alone. It's amazing how fast time passes. It must be tough having to stay up here so late. Nah. It's not like I've got anywhere else to go. You get used to it. You, um, don't get along with your wife? She passed away a long time ago. From an accident. Oh, oh, sorry. Ah, it's fine. What did he say? Something about here. his old bald chain? Such a beautiful nurse. Do you know how long it took me to win her over? <laughs> she oh, really she cute, gorgeous. though. She ran the nurse's office here. Bunch of brainless bozos back then. Students would go see the nurse for a damn paper cut. Ugh, if it wasn't for what happened. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Listen to me, huh? Blabbing on about myself. Pretty boring, huh? Oh, not at all. I'm just glad that you're willing to talk to me. It's been a long time since I've had someone to chat with. Thanks. You rest here a while. I'll take you to the school history room whenever you're ready. Mm, thanks. All right. Well then. I wanted to look around a little bit more. I don't think there's... I think when we were in here, there wasn't really much to explore anyways. But, uh, yeah, poor guy. What a pretty wife. Loves his ball and chain. Good to go. Alrighty. Loves his lady. Has there been any jump scares so far? Uh, there was one with him. Oh, sorry about that. This old elevator's a piece of crap. Let's take the stairs. Mostly just like Some weird exercise. shit like that's been happening. Uh, we got some trophies. Wenhua University is composed of four major schools, totaling an area of approximately 165 acres located in the mountains. The views are breathtaking and the air is crisp and refreshing, helping to cultivate the students' world view and moral character. Daoran Building Construction Completed School Founder Zhu Wenjiang Posing with the board of directors. I see. Screening room. I don't even know where he's... Oh, he's over there. I'm reading stuff. The Da Run building was designed by the well by well-known exp expatriate architect over the years and it has won countless awards for its outstanding architectural design. Oh, I see. Bloop. We got rock. Toidal! Toidal! Lamp. Beepox. Built in 1959, the Daren building was named after the ideals of preservation or preservance, perseverance. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. English is hard. And fortitude in hopes the in the hopes that students will cultivate such principles and uh, incorporate them uh, into their character. My God. It <laughs> This 
is the school's founder, Xu Wenzhong, right? He's so Somebody talented did their at homework. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy. But his eyes really did him dirty. Eh? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. The fellow wore glasses is all. Uh-huh. Is that really what that means? And here's the school history room. Everything about the history of Wenhua and the Da Ren building can be found here. Okay. Take your time. If you've got any questions, just ask. I've already read everything. Oh, you want to take some photos? Mm -hmm. What a fancy camera. In any case, yeah, you can take That's pictures. That's called a uh, phone? Just make sure not to take any Sergeant? of me. Uh, scared? Yeah, my spectacular physique. <laughs> I don't want your camera to explode. <laughs> okay, I'll make sure you're not in any. That's fake for sure. Huh? What makes you say that? Look at how new it is. Does that look like it's from the 60s? Oh, this could be. It's supposed to be built with the eight trigrams in the right order. Huh. Which would mean it should drive out evil spirits. And this area is teeming with yin and yang energy, and we're on a mountain. It's extremely important to order them properly. Mm. And their direction and angles must be perfectly aligned. Even worse, they were purposefully reversed. When placed in the reverse order, it draws in evil energy and keeps it trapped inside too. Which means, anyone who dies here turns into a ghost and is unable to escape. Not to mention the constant influx of evil spirits. Wow. Sure know a lot about Feng Shui. Impressive. <laughs> Just a little. I started doing some research later on. <sighs> if only they hadn't screwed up when they built this place. They just built what they were given. Who would have guessed the architect would purposefully mess with the trigrams? It's got nothing to do with the builders. Hmm. Hmm. True. Ah, hmm. about the rumors of this place being haunted? You've been here for quite some time, so you must have seen a ghost or two, right? Have a good night. Ghosts, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh damn, it is getting yeah, kind of late. But it sure as hell wasn't one or two. Hmm. How do I put this? Things are hanging though. Wait, ghosts and spirits. You can't talk about that in your report, can you? Um. Well. Whoa! It's already eleven thirty-four. All righty, right. About time to get going. Do you mind if I snap a few more photos of the elevator? No, no, no. Time to be going, Sue. Apologies. <gasps> Again? 11.34? August 20. Hell backwards. And soon to be the 22nd. No wonder. Uh, don't mind me. Do whatever you need to do. Uh... Uh, or maybe I can help. No. Hey, and don't go running around. It's late. Make sure you leave before midnight. I'm not leaving. Still got 20 minutes. I wonder if I can play a video in the screening room. On it. Purely coincidence, right? I feel like I've seen this before.
Cecil Hotel, anybody? Just like in the movie trailer. And... Weird. Did I press that? Couldn't be. No. We gotta get going. We gotta get going soon. It's getting late. What in the smoke? Mrs. Wong, there is something I wanted to ask. You said that the Huang Ting Ting report gave the school a bad rap, and I was just thinking, you are one of the... The story's not about me. I know, you've got a lead. Go do what you do best. Hmm. Guess I just will not go in there. I can't go... There's stairs. It's so... Why is it so cloudy up in here? This is the only way I can go. Alright. There's supposed to be... I can't get in here. I can't get in here. confused check out the oil lantern okay so we go back to the lantern I guess which was at the end here oh there's a puzzle oh it's like a slidey puzzle oh no my worst enemy Puzzle. Thank you very much. There's nowhere to turn it on. Definitely a haunted lamp.
Lantern reveal. Press and hold space to explore the uh, with the anima lantern. Follow the clues to find objects of interest. Aim the lantern at the center of the ob uh, of an object and hold it there for several possible hidden items uh, and images. This is like so wiggly. So wiggly. How's the demos going? They're doing pretty good, actually. Anything else around here? A wiggly, wiggly lantern. Wiggly, 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 whoa. What was it? It goes all the way to the elevator. Spooky. A liar? He? Who's that referring to? What the hell happened here? Help me. I'm not very good at helping, to be honest. In fact, I'd be the last person you wanted to ask for help. Oh, there's nothing else. of the lantern needs a little bit of fixing. The trigrams again. They were on top of the display case too. Uh. Nothing. I guess we die. It's midnight. Hello. Hello. Mr. Stuck inside the elevator. Mr. Stuck. It's midnight. What in heaven's name are you still doing here? What's your name? Wang Ting Ting. Help. Please hurry. There, there's a ghost out there. She wants to eat me, but blood, there's blood everywhere. I'm gonna die. She's going to kill me. Her neck is broken. <laughs> Hate that. I don't know about this one, champ. Okay. I guess. When the symbols of the animal lantern fully light up, it will protect the carrier from one lethal ghost attack. After that, the energy must be fully recharged to avoid another. Mm. 
This is awkward. Get back, you vile demon! really good animation though i'll be honest that like running backwards with the head all like neck all broken and stuff oh jesus oh mother Yeah, this is just a demo. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we're definitely dead. This has to be the end of the demo, I would imagine. ghost y'all called it he is a ghost well that was the end of that demo but that was actually pretty good though the mechanic with the lantern was interesting but yeah that was pretty good the, the animation of the lantern needs to be fixed swinging and swinging all over the place uh cool demo it was bridge curse 2 the extrication Uh, I have a special plan for this world, but for now, we are young from the world to come. What is this? Error. This application could not be loaded because the required file is missing or contains errors. Interesting. I guess we can only do this one. Now she is torn between two feelings. All right, hold down right mouse button to begin directing the subject to collect observations. Click on points of interest in the environment 
and left mouse button to receive observations. Can I... A tower of stone stacked atop one another who seemingly precarious, uh, who seemingly precarious, precarious assembly conceals an impeccable, an impeccable, impeccable, an impeccable sense of balance and integrity without being able to locate a body. And believe me, I tried. I can't conclude for certain if ours actually dead. But still, I fail to see any other possible interpretation that doesn't immediately spiral into the realm of conspir and conspiratorial. All of this is unmistakably hers, clothes, boots, ID, and handwriting, and signature on the note. The sight is so recent that somehow it's almost as if I can feel her presence still lingering. There's a sense of calm, unwavering deliberate deliberation present in both the construction of the Karn and the presentation of its surrounding con contents. It doesn't seem as if she made this choice suddenly or in an unsettled state of mind. How neatly the clothes have been folded, the way her card and her note were arranged so that I could ha not have missed them or mistaken the intent behind their placement. She must have brought this dress with her as part of her personals. I've never seen it before. Did she wear it in defiance or acceptance of her fate? This was a premeditated choice. The terminal surfacing of a process I failed to notice in time. Why? It's customary to dissemble each carn you build before you leave and to return the stones where you found them. I wonder why she left it standing. It feels like an act of revenge almost, although I don't know why it feels that way or against what or whom. I can't bring myself to scatter it apart. At the very least though, it, I should probably bring her ID back. So there's some trace of her in the record and this note she left me too. Our work is done, I wait. This place used to be a pretty popular vacation spot for hikers and campers before it got scoured by hurricanes. There used to be a pretty infamous thousand step descent and concomitant ascent to the gorge floor. Eerie brochure we came across during prep testified to the fact that it was particularly a sight to behold in the autumn. It's not difficult to imagine even now. I can still see the appeal of it. I wish I could have come here in different circumstances. After the DCV shut it down from public access, the CPC offered to take over maintenance of the facilities in the area in exchange to being granted the rights to set up a long-term research installation on the old campgrounds overlooking the gorge. On paper, the purpose of the mission was to monitor the flow of the river and upkeep the hydroelectric plant downstream it's unclear whether they were aware at the time of the acquisition of the real reasons behind the DCV cordon. But seeing as they established an additional fortified station less than a year into their 10 year tenure, it seems like they figured it out pretty quickly. Yeah, there's some words in here that I've never used a day in my life. From up here down to the gorge floor, it a nearly 200 meter drop straight down uninterrupted. I stood there for what felt like hours trying to imagine what was going on in Rebecca's head at the moment. I think I was too hard on her at the end, didn't take her fears seriously enough. If we had really left that night, we might have met an even worse fate. I don't know. I should have stayed awake. There was no way of knowing either now or then. There was no one out there. I'm sure of it. I searched as best as I could in vain. It's too far down, the vegetation too thick to be able to make out anything beneath. But even if I could, what could I actually do? There's no way down there, that's survivable. Without a body though, they won't be able to consecrate her. There's no proof that she's dead, no remains to recover, but there's no proof that she's alive either, she's gone. That's all I know, I don't know anything. 
Where is she? Oh, oopsie. Is there anything else that we can look at? I think that's it. We're just taking a venture down the mountain. We set up a camera trap on one of those trees a while back. I should pull the data from it while I'm here. See if it picked up Reb on her way up. Oh, that's cool. We got a clock. We got a little machine here. Is this? I should probably turn it on first. Oh, you know, you're probably right. Um, I don't need to mess with that. Okay. I don't need to mess with that. All right, fine. All right, we got batteries. Don't have any extras on me. No need. Of, oh, okay. We're copying files. I want to quit when those. I make you say like four times. Yeah, it's a little rough. I'm just trying to see. Uh, I've already copied everything over. Okay. Should put the bat. Okay. Gotta turn it on first. I already turned it on. How do I get out of this thing? How do I? How do I close this thing? It won't like let me close it. Oh, there you. Go. What button was that? Okay, it's escape. Did everything with that. Try to see what other buttons we have. I apparently already copied the info. I'm just gonna leave, I guess. The game is called uh my work is not done yet. It's not yet done. So it's kind of like a Kind of like a detective game in a way. Seems really cool. So the control scheme is a little, a little odd, but. Sun setting. That's not what. That's not water too much. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't want us to go that way. I guess we'll go this way? Where are we going? Right, we're right there. So we can cross this. Can I go this way? No, you may not. I'm assuming there's something uh, we need to do here. Okay, so we can't go that way. Oh, it's raining! Oh no! 
Damn, it's raining hard. What the hell? Yeah, nothing's chasing us yet. Yeah, the visual effects have been really cool and like just like the overall art style. Hard to see, it can't see shit. Where am I? Oh, there I am. I'm up, up there. Oh, I can see again. Hurricane season. Rains every 20 minutes. I won't lie, the choice of uh, choice to tile so extensively down here instead of around the actual ERP itself remains one of the more baffling, if however, ultimately benign, curiosities to be encountered. If only just for the sake of saving some time having to scrub out tracks of mud so frequently. Or anything else? A set of steps leading down to the entrance to the main bunker. They were constructed presumably at the same time as the station itself, and yet the level of complete degra uh, degradation and wear relative to the quality of the materials used in their construction seems to suggest that they've been here far longer than is logistically possible. Elle, in one of her last moments of apparent sanity, claimed to have encountered a nearly in identical set of steps in pristine condition one morning while servicing the an air quality monitor. As far as we can tell, it was the event that singularly precipitated her decline into complete madness. We went out and searched for hours around where she reported to have encountered it. To date, none of us were ever able to collaborate her account or identify the precise location of her bizarre encounter. The emergency exit of the maintenance bunker. Strangely, none of the codes were we were given for the keypad seemed to work, and I was never able to gain access to any of the systems within from the station computer. Furthermore, despite clearly being an, uh, an identified structure that fairly conspicuously appears on the station schematics, the very existence of it goes completely unmentioned in any of the previous missions, AARs, which is odd given their meticulousness otherwise. I am trying my absolute hardest with these words. What did she say? Uh, all right. I apparently am not allowed to go this way. Well, here's home, or at least as close as I'll get to one out here. There's still just enough light left to be able to take one more look around, just in case I miss something. I doubt it will make much difference, but I don't know. I feel like I have to do something. Or maybe I should just call it and get some rest. God only knows how much harder things are going to get from here on out. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed, dude. quite interesting very wordy which is not like a big deal it's like a lot of reading i'm more used to these doors being completely transparent top to bottom but i guess it, this place is both old and far out enough that they never got around to fitting it with the newer model not that it's much of a problem from any practical perspective really i'm not at all worried about the structural integrity of it or anything like that 
and there haven't been any problems going in and out. I will admit, though, that the porthole contributes to a rather unsettling effect at times when looking outward. A standard issued field shower, typically used for rapid decontamination in dynamic situations. This one has been modified a bit to directly accommodate the piping to the to and from the outpost built in reserves rather than having to rely on a separate cistern and at some point someone fixed it in place and for whatever reason added an actual chasis to it by the end of the first week we were able to pretty soundly corroborate our initial expectations in regards to the presence or complete lack thereof of any potential environmental contaminants. Per standard protocol, that should have eliminated the need to regularly use it at all. However, it failed to account for something potentially even worse than any degree of trace NBC residue. Goddamn fucking humidity. <laughs> I feel like some narration for this game would be would be nice, but I know that can be expensive. One should never underestimate what a genuine luxury it is to be able to con consistently have a clean set of clothes at the ready, especially in such rancid conditions. This is a lesson T and I learned very quickly during our first years together, although back then the problems and priorities were reserved. Now that I think about it, I don't think we were able to come to an agreement on which between the sweat damp mire of this cursed wood or the polluted scorch of the arids was the gentler of the two hells. I guess the proper answer is that we should be thankful that at least they never sent us up north. Too much reading? Yeah, it's definitely a lot of reading for some people. Uh, we never found out what happened to the four, to the fourth EPG. Not like we ever got remotely desperate enough to even think about putting any of them in use, uh, to use in this fucking humidity. Anyways, we'd collectively decided early on that the admittedly non-zero risk of contracting some potential alien contagion from the environmental was, uh, environment was a small price to pay for dodging the experience of drowning in one's own sweat. At the end of the day, it's just one more unknown variable to account for. Uh, a flowchart detailing the proper procedure for ensuring ah, safe, clean... clean Safe clean entry into the inner chamber of the outpost. It looks rather complicated, but in practice, bearing the suspected presence of actual active contaminants in the environment, obviously, it's about as straightforward as common sense could dictate. Get in, change out of your soiled clothes, use the decon flush, change into clean clothes, get out. Clink happy. Uh... What did it say? I have to change out of these clothes first. Oh. Take off clothes. Don't look, chat. She's getting naked. Don't look. Well, when you feel you're ready, then go through the door. Not like there's anyone around to, uh, around anymore to judge, but I should still get dressed first. All right, we're putting our clothes on. We're nice and dressed now. All right, everybody can look again. Look at that. It's just me now. I guess there's still a couple of things around here that might warrant some attention, but hell, right now, all I really want to do is take a shower and go to sleep. The rest of it can be damned, at least until tomorrow. I can barely maintain a cogent thought at the moment. We're in our nice old apartment? Question mark? Where is our bedroom? Oh, basement? Oh god, there is so much to read. Some kind of fancy reactor that the CPC originally designed for use in extraterrestrial missions 
and then adapted to accommodate remote installations on firmer grounds. Apparently, it can provide a station like this enough energy to run an acceptable capacity for something crazy like a century without maintenance. I'll readily admit that I haven't the faintest idea about how it works or what to do if something were to go wrong with it, but hey, fingers crossed, it kept the lights on and the water hot so far, so I can't complain. Mm-hmm. A stack of crates containing additional reserve feed for the meal flies and what appears to be a long expired tray of eggs meant for the incubator. There is an instruction manual at the bottom for setting up and maintaining the farm. Yo, we have a farm? Uh, we already processed this batch two weeks ago. Grow well and outlive me, little noodlers. <laughs> little noodlers? These bins contain more mature worms, and these are the ones we harvest directly. The worms are pretty funny looking, although if I look at them too long, it makes my head hurt a bit for some reason. If we were here longer, we would be rotating them out as per their life cycles, but our mission isn't long enough to warrant that. And anyways, we had enough food stored in excess to not have to not have to really rely on them much. Still, I like to come down and look at them from time to time. A mechanical sifter that separates the worms to be harvested from their substrate. The worms stay on the tray above where they're then moved into the oven and the substrate falls back down below and can either be reused or disposed of. Not much more to say about that. What's up here anyways? What is this? Is this like a tarp on the floor? <laughs> Alright, what's over here? What is over here? Get in bed. I want to take a shower first. Didn't we take a shower? Where's the shower? For everything else that's gone objectively fucking wrong, at least the shower still runs and runs hot. Sure beats the thrill of squatting on a pallet under a fuel can getting trickled with days old rainwater. I want to take a shower. Why can't I? Is it over here? I want close partitions. Oh. I see. Where is the shower? Let me in the shower. Take a shower. There we go. Nobody look! She's getting naked again! Can I take a poop? All right, time to take a bed. By time to take a bed, I mean time to take a sleep. <laughs> My brain is going to sleep mode, apparently. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're fine. Don't tell me that's the demo. style is really cool. I like the art. It's very pretty and cool. It is a very narrative driven game. It definitely would help with some voice acting for those who don't like reading all too much because it is a lot of read. Okay, controller is recommended. Let's just get started. Oh, we got a lot of quite a few saves. Not bad. Uh, K2. 
can I pick? Oh, it does not want to let you pick difficulty. Okay, so for the demo, you just don't get to pick a difficulty, but it does seem like there's more than one difficulty. We're just on story mode right now, which is kind of like, eh. I wish it would have allowed you to play on, uh, play on a harder difficulty to test it. On June 6, 1921, the famous Vlad Circus caught fire, burning to the ground in less than 10 minutes. The tragedy caused dozens of deaths and hundreds of injuries. In 1922, the owner's brother, Joseph Petrescu, was found guilty of starting the fire and sentenced to death by the electric chair. My controller is... My controller's vibrating. The Petrescu house. Wake up! Wake up! But what time is it? I've overslept. I'd better hurry. They should be all here by now. All right. Uh, that I don't give a shit about Alone in the Dark until I saw Hooper was in it. I mean, that's fair. I'll take it. My mother's rosary. We should stay close. What's this? I will take it. Uh, I don't want to pray. I feel good now. All right, what else do we want? Okay, diary? My goodness, here it is. Uh, Vlad Protescu's letter, Mom, April 1929. It sure took me by surprise. An invitation to meet an old friend. Vlad Circus will rise from the ashes. A brand new life, April 19th. It has been almost a year since I left Penhurst Asylum, but I can't get back to normal life. I've been thinking about the letter from Vlad Protescu I received during spring. It is really possible to be a clown again and going back to the circus. I don't know. I'll be leaving on the morning train right to the Protescu house. April 20th. Blaze it. Uh, the train passes through a landscape of lonely pine trees. Gone are the days in the asylum. The fear, my mother's grave and everything else. Writing it feels good and my anguish starts disappearing i will reunite with my old friends god blessed be god i haven't written anything since i came here i should be ashamed it's a kerosene lamp all right okay du, du, du. <laughs> light switch I'm assuming I need the there you go okay I like the the art though oh it's bathroom I need a pee pee bathtub it's empty all right fill it up and take a bath there is no water unfortunate I'm just leaving all the lights on for christ's sake surely nothing will go wrong oh hello sir dr jasper Mr. Mills, you have put on your costume. Extraordinary. It took you nearly eight years to overcome your fear. Yes. We'll take a photograph for the poster of the new circus. I didn't expect to see you here. I boarded the train as soon as I received your letter. Hmm. 
It stated that Mr. Petrescu was planning to rebuild the circus. And that you will once again play the clown, Lazy Ollie. Yes, I, I'm going back to the circus. A situation that can be traumatic without professional help. I'll certainly be helping you, Mr. Mills. I'm grateful to you, Doctor. You don't need to thank me. You have been an exemplary patient. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go unpack. I'll see you later. Certainly. If you'll excuse me. Okay. Dr. Jasper has come to help me, the director of Penhurst Asylum, in the flesh. I certainly surprised him when he saw me wearing my old costume. When I was in the asylum, I couldn't bear the thought of being a lazy ollie again. Can I open this? Yeah. I will take the lamp, actually. Alright. Off we go. Yeah, I do hope the I played the demo for the new Alone in the Dark, and it wasn't like it wasn't bad. When I first first played it, it was kind of buggy. Um, but then they didn't they did a patch for it, and it played a lot better. The motion blur is kind of insane though on that one. But where is everybody? I don't need to call anyone. Oh dear, hours don't count here. There's a hand missing. Interesting. Uh, the door to the first floor is locked. The clock from the hall is missing a hand. Oh, okay. It adds like notes and stuff. It's Prochesky's old camera. The old man wants to take a picture of the new circus poster. All right. I open. Oh. Busy. Okay. Oliver, you scared the hell out of us. Oh, I hate this guy. Jaqueen? Jake? I haven't seen you in years. No way, you look just the same. Lazy Ollie, as if no time has passed, huh? Yes, it has. It's... I just turned 40. Uh... When did you arrive here? This afternoon, on the last train, along with the rest of the troop. A bunch of losers! <laughs> and what about you, my friend? What did you come? When did you come? I took the morning train. I didn't want to risk it. I have a sleeping disorder. A sleeping disorder? Damn it, why is that? Well, uh, my life hasn't been so easy after the fire, you know, Penhurst. Psychiatrist, pills, crisis. I've had several relapses over the years. And when I finally got out last year, this economic slump started. You should be called lame, Ollie. Damn, dude. This guy is rough. Have you seen Prochescu? No, he hasn't shown up yet. We were talking about a good old times being this uh, this morning. He just turned 72, but he's got this, he's got his unusual energy. Uh, he said he was planning to make the his classic juicy stew for dinner. He's looking forward to welcoming us. Jeez, that's nice. It's going to be just like the old days. Where's everyone? We were waiting for Prochescu when suddenly the power went out. There was a flash of lightning and boom. Now they must be milling around, eager to get the picture the old man wants. Ha. It will be a picture of dinosaurs. Shut your mouth, Venetio! Anyway, it's great that Prochescu wants to rebuild the circus, Ollie. We shall rise from the ashes. It is pathetic. I mean, thrilling. This is our chance to fail again, gentlemen. That's enough, Financio. You're going back in the suitcase. Alicia? Jake, tell me Alicia is here too, isn't she? Well, yes, she is. She came with us all. She changed somewhat different. 
I need to see your reaction when you see her. What do you mean? You'll find out, lazy Ollie. Hey, Oliver, we need to keep practicing. Uh, we want to surprise that old cocky Petrescu with a new s with a new act. I sure, Jake. I'll see you later. I just ran into Jake and his annoying puppet. He told me everyone was already here, even Alicia, my beloved Alicia. Sometimes fate, by the will of Christ, gives us another chance, and it will be nice to be back at the circus to be a family again. Uh -huh. Shake scoot suitcase. Get away from my penthouse, you clown! Hey, Venezio, you look the same as some years ago. Have you ever seen a puppet get old, my friend? I know a good balmer for when you die. You'll be just like me. We'll be friends forever. Okay. It's a crystal jug. Uh. Why did you? Why don't you turn up the volume a little bit? Sorry, it doesn't sound loud enough without, uh, without the horn. Then get one. All right, fine. I'll go get a horn. Jeez. I think I saw something about it at some point or another. I'll, I'll be doing more demo days anyways, because I probably won't be able to complete all the demos tonight. I did pick like a lot of them just to be sure we had enough for the night. <laughs> A portrait of Petrescu with his beloved circus behind. He must have had it painted in 1914 or 1915. I see. It's a bear. No comment on the bear? Uh, they were so young. I see. Uh, back there has some firewood, but uh, that must have been left from the winter. Gate is, has a lock. Okay, so we need to find a key, I guess. Uh, it was another. Oh, it was another demo for next fest. I did. I do think I remember seeing it when I was scouring through. Uh, I want to take with flat circus stands. I can't believe it's been eight years. Here, Petrescu would announce the axe, and Dom would play with his tamed hyenas. Tamed hyenas. Hyenas. What the hell? Yeah, I want to do another Next Fest demo stream before I leave. Though, we'll we'll see how that goes. Because, uh, yeah, I have to leave for TwitchCon next week. Which kind of sucks because I was like, just getting back into the groove of being on schedule. And now I have to go and leave again and not be on schedule again. Oh, it'll be interesting. There's something downstairs. It's a monkey. Montalbano. I didn't see him this morning when he when I arrived. That thieving monkey is like a son of P to Petrescu. He must be very old. Thank God he survived the fire. Dow, Miss Dow would. I shouldn't drink alcohol. It gives me headaches since I've been taking sleeping pills. Yeah, no kidding. My poor mother used to say that spilling wine and spilling blood is the same sin. I mean, alcohol abuse. <laughs> and now I'm leaving forever. Forever and ever. I'm never coming back. Welcome! Rajit, it's you. Long time to see. Fate has brought old friends to this stormy night. Fire consumes and also creates. My good sir. What do you mean? Oliver, too, has managed to overcome his fear. He has become Lazy Ollie again. Yes, the clown again. I am cured, Rajit. Dr. Jasper has been very kind to me. Uh, Rajit see, feels grateful. Mutilated arm. What happened to your arm? Rajit has begun to fulfill the plan of the stars, my good sir. Jesus. You've cut it off yourself? Oh, no, Rajit. You shouldn't have... Condemn yourself to hell. Everyone hides in hell in the de hides hell in the depths of their minds. Rajit has chosen his. You have come to protest. Okay. 
I'm, uh, I'm glad you came, old man. Strange messages about the re a reunion have been seen in the sky, my good sir. One must be in this time and place to fulfill destiny. After the fire? What did you do after the fire? Rajit has gone back to traveling. He has seen other people in other places. He thinks that maybe the end of the circus was a well-deserved punishment for his excessive behavior in his previous lives. As my psychiatrist always says, you shouldn't blame yourself. Men carry unspeakable guilt from one life to the next, my good sir. Hey. Reunion with Rajit. Rajit doesn't seem to have aged one single day. It pains me to see him mutilated like that. This can't be the old man's fate, no matter how much he has sinned. I wish I could make him stop. Back in the asylum, I used to see him in my dreams. The fire was consuming everything. People died all around, and the fakir was burning while uttering horrible screams. They were only nightmares. All right. Uh, yeah. All right, another. Oh, gross. There's no water. The tub is full of dirty water, it reeks. Put your hand in it. He doesn't want to put his hand in it. I'm upset. There we go. I was like, can I not leave? Ew. Mr. Mills, are you okay? Back there, Dr. Huge Rats are eating the guts of a cat. Hmm, that's strange. Are you sure? I swear to God on my holy mother. Hmm. Show me what you saw, Mr. Mills. Oh God, it's not there. Now I'm gonna look like I'm crazy. How? Well, I swear the cat was here. Its guts were all over the place, and the rats! The reunion with your circus friends can be difficult. We talked about this at Penthurst. But calm down, Mr. Mills. You've imagined it, that's all. Try to control your nerves. Remember, stress hurts you. Pray if you think you need to. You brought your mother's rosary, didn't you? Yes, doctor. I never go anywhere without it. I'll be around, if you'll excuse me. Good heavens. Rats in the kitchen. I think I'm not feeling very well. I thought putting on my costume would be harmless, but the rats were eating that cat. Dr. Jasper thinks it was my imagination. I don't think so. I better not mention it in front of the others. Fortunately, I have brought my mother's holy rosary. I will say my prayers. I beg you, Christ Lord, do not abandon me. Okay, we gotta, we gotta up our, we gotta, we gotta pray. I, I guess we do. We gotta pray. Having this rosary comforts me in times of distress. I feel as if my late mother Isabella was holding my hand. May God rest her soul. Your stress is gone. Let's go. I wish my stress was gone that easy. Oh, we can run now. Sick. I don't know why we would take this, but we're taking it. Here's the fuse box. One of the fuses is busted, damn storm. Of course one of the fuses are busted. Classic. My job is an electrician. At Vlad Circus, I was in charge of the lights. Those were the good times. I remember how proud I felt about the large marquee Protescu asked me to build and place on top of the main tent. It had over 160 light bulbs. They were such a headache, especially after it rained, and I had to change the burnt out ones. At night... The words Vlad Circus could be seen from a considerable distance. All right, well, that's a classic. We gotta go fix the fuse now. The door of the backyard. Prochesco wanted to show me his plants, but he couldn't remember where he had left the key. Fuses? Horror game? It's officially a horror game. If there's a fuse somewhere that we have to get. It's a horror game. 
It's the burner for the wood. Hey, hey. No, it says on Tuesday, the 23rd, the plumber will come back to check the pipes. I see. It's full of dirty water. Not working. No power supply. Okay. We gotta find the missing few somewhere, I guess. I'm assuming that's gonna be like in the full game, probably. Probably. Ugh, I can't be this exhausted. The asylum treatments have ruined my body. A uh, modern gramophone. The drugs shattered. People say a high-pitched voice can break glass, but I never thought it could shatter a drug. Petrescu will be mad. Hang on, girl. All right. Hey, everybody's here. Dominique? Oh, it's just Dominique. Oliver, mon ami, long time no see. I too have donned my old costume. But Dom, what what are you doing in a wheelchair? Oh, we, oui. this chair and I share a long history, Ollie. After Monsieur Patrescu's brother was executed, I had polio. Oh, damn. I wasn't well since the accident at the asylum, remember? I healed from the disease, but my body couldn't take it anymore. Now my muscles are weak. There is nothing left of the old iron orc. Only this costume. Wee oui, wee oui, wee. Oui. Anyway, Monsieur Protrescu insisted I, that I come. It was a great gesture on his part, a oh, wee. Oui. Dom, I'm so sorry. Hey, uh, life goes on. You'll do other things. Look at me. If I can try, you can. Dominique has become disabled. My strongman friend, the famous iron orc, uh, ogre, sorry, is now a wheelchair bound wreck. I remember how he used to lift his elephant, Morita. It was a display of strength that would leave you grinding your teeth and gasping for air. The audience loved him. I can't see how Dom could return to Vlad's circus. It will do... I will do everything I can to help him. Oh, oh, pause, pause. Can someone help me carry, Alicia? Harry, it's been so long. Oliver, you're here. Yes, I arrived on the train from the... Alicia needs help. Come here, Oliver. Good heavens. Mon dieu. What happened? I'd love to help, but uh, I can hardly help myself. Alicia, I thought about her all these years. Over here, Oliver, hurry. Okay. Oh, Jesus! Alicia! Oliver! Oh, for Christ's sake, you're bleeding out! Help us, Oliver, the baby! I, uh, I, I don't, I didn't remember that baby. She shouldn't have traveled in her condition, but arguing with her was useless. Harry, we've already discussed this at time. At home. You need to take some rest and have your medication urgently. My friend, can you carry her to the house? Yes, sure, Harry. Well, let's get her inside, I guess. Oh, vamanos. Alicia is expecting a baby. Could Harry be the father? I see that my friend cares deeply for her. I would have liked to be in his place to be the one caring for Alicia, but I must not. My mother used to say there's a reason behind God's ways. Harry is a kind-hearted man. The bleeding stopped. Alicia is sleeping now. 
Another storm is coming, mon ami. Or mes amis. Sorry. Where is Monsieur... Monsieur Patrescu? We've been here for hours, damn it. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Ginger. Do you always have to go to the bathroom together? There is no time for jokes, your queen. Hey, Oliver, long time, huh? When did you get here, boy? Betsy, hi. By uh, mid-morning. Mes amis, mademoiselle Alicia has lost a lot of blood. It would be wise to do something. Rajit, can you prepare some of your medicines for Alicia? Rajit can make an infusion for the bearded woman's pain. Hopefully it will help Alicia and the baby. That's all that matters to me. I'll go and check on her. Excuse me. Alicia shouldn't have come pregnant, you idiot. Silence, Ginger. But it's true, brothers. That girl needs a doctor. And to make matters worse, there's a train strike till Monday. Father Vlad would know what to do. Has anyone seen him? We were chatting this morning. Then I went for a nap and haven't seen him since. He said we'd have one of his stews for dinner, just like the old times. No way. And we're still in the dark? All the better not to see your faces, you jerks. <laughs> the Carver Siamese twins, Betsy and Ginger, have come too. I don't like those obnoxious girls. They are always arguing. Their heads only agree in the presence of Petrescu. That man has spoiled them. I don't know what he was thinking when he brought them to the circus. I think just a feared that his brother would end up handle, handing over the circus to them. Oliver, you were good with electrical stuff. Can you fix the lights? Sure, I'll try. Okay. Poor Mr. Mills. I'm afraid his disorientation episodes are back. The reunion with his old friends is making him unstable. All right, we awake. But how did I get back here? Oh, there's still no power. Do I even have... All right, I still have a light. That's the bathroom. It's gotta be... Maybe upstairs? Oh, Jesus. This man just cannot breathe for two longer than two seconds. All right, so that door is locked. Kerosene lamp. Yeah, this one seems pretty cool so far. It's a... Uh, not a reading, but it's not like super wordy or anything. Oh my god. Speak up! Damn freaks! Who's that? Is this a bad joke? Strange. Who could have called him? Why did he say that? Oh shit, there's blood. Mr. Petrescu, what are you doing out in the rain in the dark? Are you all right? We were worried about you. Have you seen Joseph? Joseph? What Joseph? Joseph Petrescu, my brother, who else would it be? But Joseph, he's dead. Hold on, the storm is too strong. We have to go back to the house. Back here. What the hell is that? Holy mother of God, what's going on here? 
It can't be. The decapitated body was here. It was a hallucination. Another damn hallucination. No. I'm not going back to Penhurst Asylum. No. You know, fair enough. Dr. Jasper, I must see him as soon as possible. Something is happening to me. I'm hallucinating, I'm hearing strange voices, and I saw a huge beheaded body. It was only for a few seconds, but holy Christ, his flesh was raw. The smell of burnt flesh was nauseating. Why would I imagine such an atrocity? My hallucinations from Penhurst Asylum were different. I must speak with Dr. Jasper and tell him everything. Well, maybe not to tell him everything, you know, this might be a bad idea. Hmm, one of the bridge boards is loose. All right, our board now. I'm not going back to the train station now. All right, so we're not going that way. Oh, wait. There was something I could interact with. A bunch of colorful flowers. Oh, okay. Maybe we should take the flowers to Alicia. I mean, you know, maybe she'd appreciate some flowers. What's this? A clothes bag. Uh, a cloth bag. Hmm. Oh, help me carry more stuff. Ooh. We can carry more things. Ooh, exactly one of more things. These rocks look like a good spot to place something to cross over. It's too slippery to jump. I don't want to smash my bones. The board is firm and it will be useful for crossing. All right. Thanks. Nice, dude. Wicked. I can't go this way, apparently. Unfortunate. Is there anything I can do over here? Doesn't seem so. A bunch of colorful flowers. I'm assuming that will probably open up at some point. Ooh, what is over here? I guess we'll just go back to the house? Question mark? I don't know if I missed anything. There's like a note on the ground? What's that? Hmm. It's a newspaper clipping. Petrescu must have dropped it. Joseph's arrest. The morning after the fire, the police department found Joseph near the circus, drunk and carrying a revolver. He was taken to Scranville prison and the following year he was found guilty for of arson. He was sentenced to the electrical chair. Electric chair. Oh shit. There was a thing? Where? It was probably the flowers. We'll go check one more time, but I think it was just the flowers. I could be wrong though. Oh, the keychain. Oh, you're right. It was a shiny. I thought it was flowers. I was looking at flowers. All right, this way then. Onwards. Want some keys? Oh, maybe I can use the... Doesn't look like the right lock. No. Well, not the keys for there. Oh, wait. No, I wanted to go back outside. There's something out there. Mr. Mills, how are you feeling? Doctor, thank God you're here. I'm suffering from hallucinations again. Why do you say that? Have you seen anything else? A dead man. Help me, please. My sir. Regito friend, will you make the infusion for Alyssa? Regito will look for marigolds for the bearded lady's tea. Such is the fate. I have been, uh, seen flowers of all kinds in the forest. You might find marigolds. Ancient medicines. The Fakir is a mysterious old man, but a man of God. His medicines have been a blessing to Vlad Circus. Sorry for the interruption, doctor. Don't worry. Describe the vision, please. 
A huge corpse covered with flies that smelled burnt, and it was beheaded, Doctor. Hmm, very disturbing. The return of the cir uh, to the circus opens old wounds. There's no doubt about it now. We're going to need some medicine. You want to inject me with malaria blood, like, in the asylum? Calm down, Mr. Mills. We don't need to give you a fever. You and I are past that stage. My antipsychotic tonic will help with the hallucinations. There are some bottles in my briefcase. Try not to be nervous. Stress is bad for you. All this brings back bad memories, doctor. Try not to lose your temper, Mr. Mills. Always keep in mind that these hallucinations are harmless. If you fail to control your symptoms, drink some tonic. <clears throat> Don't forget that it was good for you in the asylum. Thank you, doctor. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't even be able to afford my rent when I left Prenthurst. Is it possible to make up for all the good things you do for me? There is nothing to thank me for, Mr. Mills. This is my job. <clears throat> I'll keep an eye on you, if you'll excuse me. Okay, bye. Jesus Christ, tonic again? Okay. Sure. <clears throat> Back to the tonic. Dr. Jasper perfected the recipe of his antipsychotic tonic <clears throat> while I was hospitalized. The rest of the treatments have no effect on me, not even the ice nor the malaria-induced fever. I will be forever grateful for it to him. It's just that I'm terrified of drinking that tonic yet again. I am suspicious of it. Even when the hallucinations go away, I always lose my nerve. Okay. Can I open this? Jake left his case here. Why is there a gun? Who is bringing guns? Yeah, I'll take it. My gun now. <laughs> For Christ's sake, I can see Jake hasn't lost his touch. I feel safer if I keep this gun with me until we get out of here. We've had our misfortunes in the past. Hmm. Get out of here, you damn stinking rats. Holy mother! Father Vlad's house is infested with rats. The rats? Those rats gave me the creeps. Don't be a chicken, Oliver. My father used to lock me in a cellar full of rats when he had to punish me. Cheer up, boy. Think of the future. We're coming back to the circus. It's true. Where have you been? What about you? Where have you been all these years? Well, you shouldn't care. Did we even ask you about that? Ginger, don't be rude, girl. We've been working at Marjorie Smith's Dime Museum. You know, normal people pay to feel grossed out. Oh, Ginger, please. In the new Vlad Circus, no one will be disgusted or afraid of us. It will be just like before Vlad promised. Don't make me laugh, Lazy Ollie. Go and mind your own business and keep spying on your dear Alicia. Jesus, Ginger, shut your mouth. I ran into Petrescu in the woods. He was looking for his brother? Can you believe that? You talk as if Father Vlad had gone mad, boy. Don't be ridiculous, Oliver. He must be joking. Let's hope he gets back in time for dinner. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, watch out for the rats. They look hungry. And be good, or we'll lock you in the cellar. <laughs> okay. Pain creatures. The twins have always intrigued me, but I would have never dared to ask them about their condition. So I looked it up in the asylum library. I found a few cases like theirs. Isiopagus twins joined at the torso, but with only one pelvis. The two people in one condemned to, uh, in one condemned to live together in a single body. I know that if one of the heads were to die, the other could not live for more than a few hours. It's sad and very unfair that a creature of God should endure so much. Miss Madison was frustrated an artist. Vlad said she was rarely sober, but he spoke of her with pride. Let's see.
Oliver, what are you doing here? Alicia is sleeping. I'm sorry, Harry. I... It's been years since we last met. Alicia is still in a lot of pain. I'm so sorry. Rajut's med medicinal tea will soothe her. Tell him to hurry. I can't watch her suffer. We'll talk later. You better go out. Uh, I will look after Alicia. Leave us alone now. Sure, Harry. As you say. Okay, bye! Alright, we gotta go find... I don't know what we're supposed to find. Harry's silence. How can a man be happy no matter what? I like Harry. I respect him like the brother I uh, never had. He finds the strength to keep on living no matter how hard he, the circumstances. I don't think he, I would be able to do that. Just putting on my old clown costume makes my head spin. He barely talks to me and it hurts, but I forgive him. Alicia is his woman and to me, she will be just a sweet memory that I will take to my grave. Or take to the grave. So he was like in love with her, I guess. Oh god, the rats. The rats! Not the rats! I need to find... Oh, it worked! Let's go! The key is from here. I wonder what the other, uh, other one's open. Okay. Note says, Montebello, Montebello, 8 o'clock. Okay. It's a piece of pork. It's too big to take it with me. What do you mean? It's never too big. Okay. Cheese? Eat a piece of cheese, yes. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have eaten the cheese. Ugh, that cheese is stale. Bananas! You cannot carry more items, damn. I need to find... My throat's starting to give out. Uh... This looks like it's really luck, okay. My throat is starting to give out, meaning this might be the last game we play today. It's starting to hurt. I leave, please? Thank you. Do do. Do 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 do. We can combine this. Why would we combine this? go upstairs, I guess. Last game. Yeah, we've been playing a lot of, like, reading games the last, like, three hours. So my, my throat's a little sore. Me throat's a little bit sore. Oh, 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 oh. No, not again. That body is not there. I know. Dr. Jasper is right. I must face my fears. Right. I might be getting sick, honestly. I've been sneezing like crazy. Uh, I don't, what? I don't wanna. I wanted to pray. Um, I've been sneezing like crazy. I don't think I'm like sick sick. I don't know. I've just like been feeling a little like eh. Been feeling a tad bit eh. I wish I wasn't sick. I hope I'm not sick. I literally just got back to being on a normal schedule again. And also TwitchCon is coming up. Please no. I don't want to be sick again. Looks like an old man is feeding uh, Montebello here. The table has a nice velvet cloth. He treats him like a king. Hmm. 
parents' birthdays this Saturday and you want to go. Yeah. She said, please, I don't want to get sick. Please, no. I think maybe we can use the wire. What do we... Copper strip cable. Hmm. trying to think about where you would put that. I don't think it's anything here. Oh. I had to drop something. Oh, god. Maybe we should put that somewhere else. Just drop that there for now. Aha! Uh -huh. The copper filament is cut. area easy finally the lights are back on where are we going now i think we can take the elevator now go down why does that sound like it's gonna explode that's weird. Why isn't the elevator moving? Okay, so I have to... I wonder if I have to get the marigold. It seems like a pretty long demo. I wonder how long it actually is. Hopefully it's not like four hours. It'd be kind of wild for a demo. God. Really just cannot run very long, huh? There is a bag. Oh, there's a bag here. That's what I wanted. Another bag! It will come in handy. Nice. Now we can carry two extra items. Sick. Sweet! Rajit, have you managed to find the flowers of, for the infusion? No, my good sir. The forest is dark, even for Raj, uh, Raj, Ranjit's instinct. I'm bringing the lamp with me. I can light the way. That would be very helpful, good sir. We must stop another hemorrhage from the bearded woman. She could lose the baby. Will we ever know what you have done to feel so guilty, old man? My good sir, Ranjit endures pain and torture. But my punished body hardly reflects that which Ranjit has inflicted on other people. It will never be enough. Every time you were subjected to all that torment in the circus, how did you bear all the pain? The torture of the body is art, my good sir. Art improves with time. But why are you doing this? People glimpse the spiritual meaning of pain through the torments of the body. You mean... That pain is an instrument of God, like the crucifixion? The two-headed girl claimed that people make pleasure in witnessing the suffering of others. That the pain of others relives one's own pain. It's not that simple. The universe is duality. The pain of others helps the spirit to learn without suffering in one's own flesh, pain teaches. The agony of Ranjit's body is a gift. The fakir, Ranjit's words are selfish. We haven't come to the world to suffer, but to fulfill God's will, which is one of love and compassion. The old man is unable to forgive himself. Now I understand why he went through that torture. He laid on nails, cut off pieces of his skin and flesh, and endured all kinds of physical torments. At times he would lose so much blood that he nearly died. The audience cheered and applauded him. I feel sad and horrified when I remember that. Uh, follow me, old friend. I will show you the way. Ranjit will be walking behind Oliver like a spirit. Okay, so we just gotta. Okay, he's just gonna follow me. 
Okay, so he's just gonna follow me, I guess. Ranji, did you, would you check these flowers? Probably not this one. Hmm. They're not marigolds, my good sir. I think I know exactly where the marigolds are. They're definitely over here. These are definitely it. Rajit, why don't you take a look at these flowers? Hmm. Nature is wise, so they say. Here we have marigolds. You can prepare the healing tea for Alicia now. Ranjit also needs some water. Here is the stream. It must be pure rainwater, my good sir. Ah, good. I'll take care of it. Ranjit is going to the kitchen to get some work done. The bearded woman doesn't have much time. What's growing inside her will come out soon. Okay, good heavens. I should have to come to in that can get uh, shouldn't have to come in that condition. <clears throat> Alright, so we need to I got a jug. I just gotta wait until it rains, question mark. Where would we find a place to use rainwater? I would imagine maybe outside the mansion. Oh my god. I'm dying. Oh, 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 it's raining. It's raining. How do, where do I put it? What, how do, where do I put it? Where do I put this stupid thing? Oliver, I saw you leaving through the gate out in this storm. Have you gone to look for Monsieur Petroscu? I saw him in the woods. I guess he wasn't feeling well. What do you mean, Ollie? Well, I, I don't know. He was in the dark looking for his brother Joseph. Jeez. But Joseph is fried like a chicken. Joseph, that drunk degenerate must be in hell. Still sitting in an electric chair. Wow, you clown, you managed to fix the light. A fuse had blown out, but I managed to fix it. Well done, buddy. You haven't lost your touch, huh? No, never. I see the garden and the gate from here. It's raining again, the storm is endless. Where do I put this fucking jug? Where do I put this frickin' jug? I'm gonna just break open the water or like break open a window or something. Uh. That hasn't been anywhere inside. Looks like I had to combine it with something. There's nothing to combine it with, so I don't, I don't know. Hmm. I would imagine there's something I need to do outside. I feel like I've checked everything. There's no map. <laughs> Hmm. Where is it? I am tired. is there to do if I can't get rainwater? Uh, the elevator from the service area is not working. She needs rainwater. Alicia needs rain. Uh, the clock in the hallway hand is missing. The door on the first floor is locked. 
Okay, there's like nothing of importance to really do at this point. Can I just go to sleep? I can't even go to sleep? It's raining again. The storm is endless. Oh my god. <laughs> is there anything I can do with this jug? Right, yo, double knack. Where is it? Where is the answer? I'm slowly drifting mentally. My brain cannot handle complications. The complications are too severe now. Brain dead. Brain no think go no good. I have a weird idea. It's a little zany. Probably won't work. I have an idea. Because our body was like in the way, right? And I'm wondering if the tonic makes it go away. I'm not going back to that damn asylum. I knew it. The taste of blood I used to hate when I was in the asylum, at least it works, the demon's gone. Dr. Jasper's tonic takes the hallucinations out of my head, but I'm scared. It's all, uh, it's like all the years I spent in rehab in Penhurst Asylum have been for nothing. The treatments, the agony. I'm scared, mother. Those headless bodies remind me of so many sad things. Dust, silence, the flesh being consumed around the bones. The end of life. This is way worse than the visions I endured after the fire. What should I do, my lord? Is this one of your tests? Yeah, that's that, that is cheeky. That's cheeky. It's like really like you have to pay attention. Here we have the megaphone. Somewhat scorched. The show wouldn't start until the old man made his famous presentation. All right, so there's. Oh shit. Uh one second. Oh my if I do I do I just not have I don't have any bullets. Damn. Here's the problem. The engine belt has been cut off. I should change it to get this to work again. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. Phone collection, uh, 1001 Nights. I've always wanted to read it, but the old Barnaby wouldn't let me when I was little. Stampede, how's it going? How are, how are you? Oh shit, one second, one second. I'm trying not to die here. Try not to die here. One second. Uh, I don't feel safe here. Better be prepared. All right. We have now. We need to pray. We need to pray. I just want to move some stuff around. Oh, shit. I got him. Oh, he dropped bullets. Yeah, I really like uh, Edison bulbs. They're really pretty. What did this need again? Here's the problem. The engine belt has been cut off. Okay. Uh, I should change it to get this working again. So we need another engine belt. Weep, excuse me. Yo, Vlad Circus sign. Or sign? Oh, we can push it. Oh, what's this? Hmm, the bottle is full of solvent. Can I mix that with something? Hmm. Probably be able to mix it with something at some point. What's in the box? 
grindstone. What would I need a grindstone for? All right, well. Uh, let's see. Do we have the megaphone? I think we can go use that on the, uh... What the hell? Yo, the rats are actually deadly. I didn't know they can actually do stuff. There's that one room with the, uh... With the megaphone or something that I needed. Yeah, welcome on in everybody from Stampede Stream. I hope you're all doing well today. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. I do hope the stream was fun. What were you playing today? What was the game of the hour? Use this room. There you go. Guys, it is right into the horn input. No way. Rain and good jazz are great lovers. That's what my father used to say back in poor, uh, Puerto Rico. Hmm. Yeah, this is a really long demo. This is like a lot longer than I thought it would be. As long as it's like this demo alone has taken like an hour and a half. Not complaining, but I do want to go to bed at some point. I'm a little tired. I'm getting a little sleepy. Uh -huh. What do I need this? What do I need? Take a banana. Yeah, we played, I think, what? Almost 10 demos today? We played a lot of demos today. Some of them are like really, really short. This is probably the longest demo we've played so far. o'clock Montalbano will be dancing with joy yeah this is just a really long demo I didn't intend to like stay up too too late it's fine how are you I'm supposed to repair something with this Oh, I understand what I'm supposed to do. Ow, what the fuck? I understand what I'm supposed to do. It just clicked. Give me a second. I have figured it out. I think I cracked the code. I might have cracked the code. I don't know. figured it out we're gonna break the window we do have to break the window took me a minute but I figured it out I think uh 
that should be There we go, there we go, there we go! We got a key! If it wasn't wood, my eardrums would be ruptured, you jerk! Sorry about that, Jake. God damn it. I will drop that there. Take the key. This should go to the garden, I would imagine. Or maybe here? Oh, this is a recreation room. We can actually go in here. So I think this one should... Ow! Stupid... Frickin' rats! crazy ones. Put me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room full of rats. Rats make me crazy. Lamp is barely lit and needs kerosene. Of course it does. Oh, there's the rainwater. Yeah, there's a spout. Is this the end of the demo? Or is it just showing me what's here? No, that was the... De that was the end of the demo. We reached the end. That was a cool little demo, though. It took me a freaking minute to figure out where we were going and what we were doing, but we got there. That was very nice. 